I wonder. love that. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was so good. I thought that was so, that was just so nice. Like a celebration of like not giving up on your dreams and achieving what you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. Wow, I just loved that. Hi, I'm Archie. I'm Molly. And today, Molly will be reacting to Graduation by Kanye West. I'm sure you're familiar with some of these songs, yeah. right? Yeah, I definitely know Stronger, obviously. Good Life. I maybe know Can't Tell Me Nothing. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty much the three singles off this thing. Yeah, and I know yeah. everything I am because yeah. you like I played that, that a lot. <laughs> yeah, this is actually my favorite Kanye West album. Um, holds a very special place in my heart. Mm -hmm. As I said, it was released in 2007. This was just like a few months after the first iPhone was released. <laughs> That's so crazy to think about. Yeah, so uh, just to give you some context, I think for me it was just uh, the timing. I was in my, I'm old here. I was at kind of like in my early 20s, mid 20s. Yeah, I was really a big fan of uh, Kanye and Pharrell in particular. Like those two guys were kind of like the guys I kind of looked up to in regards to, I don't know, like aesthetic, I like guess, style music taste. Yeah, something about this album just kind of really resonated with me. Uh, he came here on tour with actually Pharrell with NERD. Um, yeah, it was him, Rihanna, NERD and Lupe Fiasco. Mm -hmm. uh, that was, that's probably, that's pretty crazy. yeah, it's a crazy lineup when you think about it. And that was probably one of my favorite, well, it's easily one of my favorite concerts of all time. And um, that's when like, Concerts weren't super expensive. I was on the floor <laughs> and he was giving away free shit at the time. <laughs> like these glasses. <laughs> and also like he on the way out, he was giving away these books. Um, I'll zoom in on it. Yeah, they're kind of like, uh, like quote books, positivity. I'm going to take these off now. <laughs> anyway, I feel like I'm babbling right now. I think we'll just get into it and then we'll talk about more. We'll talk about the album more as we go along. Okay. Okay. So okay. the first song is called Good Morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, that's nice. Wake up, Mr. West, Mr. West, Mr. Fresh, Mr. By himself, he's so impressed. And yes, barely passed. Any and every class, looking at every ass, cheated on every <laughs> test. I guess this is my dissertation. Homie, this shit is basic. Welcome to graduation. Good is there a heart? Morning. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. On this day we become legendary. Everything we dreamed of. From the moments of pain. Look how far we done came. Hate is saying you changed. Now you doing your thing. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Look at the valedictorian. Scared of the future while I hop in the DeLorean. Scared to face the world complacent career student. Some people graduate but be still stupid. They tell you read this, eat this. Don't look around, just peep this. Preach this, teach us Jesus. Okay, look up now. They done stole your streetness. After all of that, you receive this. Good morning. Hustlers, let's get on down. I really love that. It yeah. was just really nice. It has a kind of uplifting sound. Mm -hmm. um, I really like that sample and the harp. Yeah. There was a harp way in the background. I don't think I've noticed that before. It was so nice. It just very, <laughs> like, felt very, I don't know, just very. And I liked how he kept using, like he said, like dissertation and valedictorian. Mm -hmm. And obviously, this is called graduation. Yeah. I liked how he was making those references. Yeah, this is part of the like uh, the trilogy because mm -hmm. the first one's college dropout, then late registration, mm -hmm. then graduation. Yeah. The next one was actually supposed to be called good ass job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you said it's kind of like uplifting, he wanted to make like inspirational songs. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of what you get, kind of like theme music, um, which is kind of like maybe that's why it's one of my favorites or why mm -hmm. it is my favorite Kanye album because it kind of like I don't know maybe at that time I just kind of liked. Mm -hmm. Like uplifting. that feeling, yeah. yeah. That it was just really, just really pleasant. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, we'll move on to the next song. Track number two is called Champion. Yes, I did. So I packed it up and brought it back to the crib. So if you gonna do it, do it just like this. You don't see just how fly my style is. I don't see why. 
need a stylist when I shot so much I can speak Italian I don't know I just want it better for my kids how to say when you see clothes close your eyelids you were sort of like Will Smith and his son in the movie I ain't talking about the rich ones and I don't know what he did for dope but he'll send me back to school with a new wardrobe and hey It's harder than dying For me, giving up's way harder than trying Cause who the kids gonna listen to? Huh? I guess me if it isn't you <laughs> Last week I paid a visit to the institute They got the dropout keeping kids in the school I guess I cleaned no. up my act like Prince do If not for the pledge, at least for the principal They got the CD, then got to see me drop gems Like I dropped out a P.E. <laughs> they used to be the story of a champion Run us in the mark, you can pop the gun Stand up, stand up, here he comes Champion. This is um definitely much less angry. <laughs> yeah. Than the other albums. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, I've not listened to the first two mm -hmm. yet. Um, but yeah, this is definitely. This is more like what I was already familiar with. Obviously, yeah. like the general, always. the general demeanor, I guess. Or? Yeah. Well, yeah. I was like how I knew him. Yeah. When yeah. Cool. Yeah, I don't have much to say. I just thought it was thought it was yeah. a great song. Yeah. Um, just when he was saying like, uh, "Tell me what it takes to be number one." Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. So this album was uh, released on, like I said, September 11, two thousand seven, mm -hmm. and it was released on the same day as a uh, Fifty Cent, uh, his album called Curtis. Mm -hmm. And so they kind of promoted it like a like a boxing match, <laughs> and they wanted to see who would sell more albums. Um, so they. They did interviews and did kind of like it was like a friendly competition mm -hmm. so when they released it on the same day i think it broke records like i think it's mm -hmm. the most yeah at the time it was the the most record sold by two hip-hop albums so in the same week mm -hmm. so kanye sold like four hundred and thirty thousand albums on the first day oh wow <laughs> yeah and ended up selling like just just less than a million in the first week wow yeah so um so he won yeah and a lot of people were saying that like it was the day that or was the time that um i guess gangster rap was kind of killed i guess because um this is a time where like kanye was dominating and he's he's number one and i guess he didn't fit into that whole gangster persona mm -hmm. and it kind of opened up the way for people like drake um, I guess like Lupe Fiasco, J. Cole, mm -hmm. Kid Cudi, like these guys who are just like more relatable, I guess. I'm um, not saying that these type of rappers weren't weren't like popular or weren't, you know, appreciated before this, but mm -hmm. um, it kind of changed the way um, hip hop moved forward, I guess. So That's pretty cool. Yeah. I just think it's cool that... Um like he really was like revolutionary. Like he changed yeah. everything. I think that's really cool. And he he's done this several times in his career. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll, we'll get to another album where I feel like it's his most influential album. Mm -hmm. I know we've covered Yeezus, um, Beautiful Direct to Fantasy. We're covering this right now. I feel like there's another album actually, which is his most influential, okay. which we'll get to eventually. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to move on to uh, track three, Stronger, which you're already familiar with. Yeah, I know this But uh, we'll listen to it anyway. Yeah. Okay. That, 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 that don't kill. It's so good. I need you right now. Let's get lost tonight. You could be my black Kate Moss tonight. Play secretary on the ball tonight. And you don't give a fuck what they all say, right? I ask, cause I'm not sure. Do anybody make real shit anymore? Bad with the presence of greatness. Cause right now, that has forsaken us. You should be honored by my lateness. That I would even show up to this fake shit. This haters. That don't kill me. That's so full. Yeah. That's how long I've been on ya. And I know that God put you in front of me. So how the hell could you front on me? It's a thousand years, it's only one of me. I'm tripping, I'm wow. tripping in a moment, right? <laughs> I know I got to be right now. Cause I can't get much stronger. Oh, glitchy. The, the mixing is amazing. <laughs> 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 
I've never heard this bit. Oh yeah? So first of all, the first thing I wanted to uh, note was it's really nice. No offense to the featured artist on his other album that we just listened to. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to just hear him. Yeah, for sure. I have really enjoyed like the features haven't been, they've been like with him. They haven't had like a whole... Like, like overshadowed them yeah, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, and not that they could overshadow him. How could they overshadow him? But I feel like he's far more prominent than... Yeah. And I just really enjoy his voice. Yeah. He's just really nice to listen to. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. The thing is, I listen to songs with earphones at the most. And mm -hmm. I don't... I've never had a really good pair of earphones. <laughs> I never listen with headphones. Yeah. Because... I don't want to get murdered like <laughs> so to hear that with headphones the mixing is amazing yeah and it was so full and obviously i've never looked to the lyrics before there were some great lines in there i cannot express how and i know it's stating the obvious but how different an experience listening to an album with actual headphones on yes yeah. because you hear so much more of like the mixing yeah it's just fantastic. And it's just like, I don't know, in my opinion, you kind of just do the music. I think nowadays, I think a lot of people listen to music on their on their phones, mm -hmm. kind of. Like, and that's nothing wrong with it. I do that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I feel like we do the artists a disservice when they... Yeah. A couple notes. Um, I think this is the first time Daft Punk had uh, collaborated with anyone outside. Oh. Yeah. Um, maybe Pharrell, because I know NERD had a song that was produced. I think they had one or two songs produced by Daft Punk. And then obviously they've gone on to produce for, you know, The Weeknd, mm. The Homie. <laughs> um, the other thing too, there's this uh, video that kind of resurfaced where Kanye was talking about how like he was dating somebody at the time or whoever he was with was a huge fan of uh, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> okay. um, and the biggest song at the time was Sexy Back. Mm -hmm. So that was produced by Timbaland. And so he was like, okay, I got to make a song that's going to compete with that. Because mm -hmm. I know she she likes that song a little too much or whatever. <laughs> and so um, so he was working on this. And I guess he there's the for the snare, he wanted to perfect the snare. So he was like, oh, I don't know what to do or whatever. So he was working on it. Couldn't get it right. So he got Pharrell. He's like, hey, Pharrell, I need help with this snare. So he was working on it. And he's, it still didn't come out right. So he got Swiss Beats to help him. Swiss Beats is a producer yeah. married to uh, Alicia Keys. Um, <laughs> anyway, he couldn't get it. So it's like, damn, I got to call Timbaland now. <laughs> so Timbaland actually got it for him in like five minutes. <laughs> yeah. So he got credit for uh, some drum programming for the song. Great. So. And the next song is uh, I Wonder. And I wonder if you know. That's pleasant. Oh. <laughs> Will you have back in the car, drive back to the grid, run back to the arms, the smoke screens, the chokes and the screams. You ever wonder what it all really means? And I'm back on my grind. A psychic read my lifeline, told me in my lifetime. My name will help light up the Chicago skyline. Wow. And that's yep. why I, how many ladies in the house? How many ladies in the house without a spouse? <laughs> Something in your blouse got me feeling so aroused. <laughs> what you about? I, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was so good. I thought that was so, that was just so nice. Like a celebration of like not giving up on your dreams and achieving what you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. Wow, I just loved that. With with the sample that he had, mm -hmm. it kind of made me think because I was like, okay, so he has this song about like achieving your dreams. Yeah. And then he has this sample about dreams. Yeah. Did he come up with the idea and then he had to find a relevant sample and then he had to fit his song with this sample and mm. then I just thought that was so amazing. Like yeah. like well, well, 
I know that's relevant with all songs with like where they incorporate that yeah sample. yeah but I just yeah. thought that was so cool because his his the song is about dreams and there was a line I really really liked how many ladies, how many ladies in the house without a spouse exactly something something in, in your, your blouse, blouse got me <laughs> feeling so well roused <laughs> you can still be who you wish you is it ain't happened yet and that's what intuition is yeah I loved that line I thought that yeah. was so good knowing, you, knowing what you're like yeah. destined for and if right. you like believe in it you can be it you know why I'm like in my approach to like, right. I thought that was so good. Yeah. That was just a beautiful song. I really, really loved that. I thought it was a great message. Mm -hmm. I thought it sounded fantastic, even without what it was about. I just mm -hmm. loved it. Yeah. For sure. I mean, that's one of my favorite songs on the album. That was like one of my theme songs, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I remember like really liking that song. And then I remember distinctly at the concert, he performed that and everybody was just screaming at the top of their lungs like reciting all the lyrics great yeah because if as you can tell like when he was rapping it it was just kind of like he was rapping like i've been waiting on this my whole life mm -hmm. so then like that kind of flow mm -hmm. it was kind of easy like it was just kind of you could just see People how could, yeah could. that's actually so true like so the way they were just kind of like yeah yeah yeah, just, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 it was really powerful like okay, um, wow sometimes things are like come into my head and I can't comment on them during the song yeah. because I can hear myself talking back and it's too... Mm -hmm. I can say short sentences. No, that's okay. <laughs> um, a psychic read my lifeline, told me in my lifetime, my name would help light up the Chicago skyline. Yeah. So this was just a beautiful song. I it just is. thought it was a really great, powerful song. Yeah. I thought it was so good. All right. Well, the next song is called Good Life, mm -hmm. uh, which you mentioned you've I know heard before. Yeah. yeah. So this is called Good Life featuring T-Pain. <laughs> Oh. Say the best things in life are free. The good, and she got the goods, and she got that ass. I got to live. So, <laughs> life, we'll be like the girls who ain't on TV because they got more ass than the models. The good life <laughs> to keep it coming with the bottles. The she feel booze like she bombed out of Apollo. The good life. And then the life I live when I thought that I was going to go crazy. And now my grandma ain't the only girl calling me baby. <laughs> yeah i already know that song but yeah. well with headphones even better yeah and i just really love how uplifting this all is like all yeah. the lyrics are just so super positive and right. like just he knows he's amazing and this album is just such a feel-good album mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um Hearing it with headphones is amazing. I just, I don't know what to say. I just really, I love this so far. Mm -hmm. I I know I do, I like darker music, but this is just really, just makes you feel good about life. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you feel like you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can yeah. do it. Wow, I feel so positive about life listening to this. Yeah. And you know it's so it's so funny because he's like saying all this stuff and like yeah he did it yeah. like he he became one of the biggest stars in the world. There's only really like a handful of hip hop albums where I feel like super positive or inspired after listening mm -hmm. to them. I mean we're not even halfway done yet, but um, like I could think of like maybe like a for some reason Nas King's Disease Two pops into my mind. Uh, mm -hmm. You've never heard of that, obviously, mm -hmm. but like after hearing that album, like uh, it kind of gives me the same feeling. Do you know what brain means? No. Oh, give me some brain, like give me some head. Oh. Yeah. So that's why in the, he said, um, have you ever popped champagne on a plane while getting some brain yeah. whipped it out and said, I've never seen snakes on you a plane. You know what's so funny? When she, when he said some brain, I was like, this has to mean something. <laughs> Surely he doesn't mean like, you know how rich people eat weird stuff? <laughs> You've had brain. I've had brain You've brain eaten before. brain before. Yeah. So I thought that was expensive food, but... <laughs> It's even better. So the next song you said you think you might know. Based on the title, I feel like I can sort of hear something in my head, but I'm really okay. not sure. So I'll let you know. This one's called Can't Tell Me Nothing. Yeah. Watch it. Under more scrutiny. And what I do, act more stupidly. 
bought more jewelry, more Louis V. My mama couldn't get through to me. La, 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 la. And you can't tell me nothing, right? Excuse me, was you saying something? Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing. But homie, this is my day. Class started two hours ago. Oh, am I late? No, I already graduated. And you can live through anything if magic made it. Wow. <laughs> How you move in a room full of nose? How you stay faithful in a room full of hoes? <laughs> Must be the pharaohs he in tune with his soul. So when he buried in a tomb full of gold. So if the devil wear Prada, Adam, Eve wear nada, I'm in between but way more fresher. <laughs> but way less effort. Cause when you try hard, that's when you die hard. Your homies looking like why God when they reminisce over you, my God. Till I get my money right Tell me nothing I know that song And it's a great song To tune yeah. the Anthem I love that song I was so tempted to put those on and just get turned. <laughs> uh, but then I remember just going out on the internet. So I don't want to embarrass myself. I just love that song. It's a great song. Yeah, that's, my, that's totally my jam. It's a very powerful song. Yeah, I and I like, the, um, I like how he just kind of knows he's been acting a fool. He knows that he's wrong, but he's like, well, well, you know. Like the opening line where he says, um, I had a dream I could buy my way to heaven. When I woke, I spent that on a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> he really knows that he's the best. Yeah. I said that before about him. He really knows that he's the best. And I feel happy for him because I'm like, yeah, you are. You yeah. are the best. You are a genius. But at the same time, he's very self-aware. Yeah. Like like all of the lyrics in the song, for instance, yeah. right? So the next song is called Barry Bonds featuring Lil Wayne. Okay. Uh, just for context, Barry Bonds is a baseball player. Okay. All right. <laughs> It's what you all been waiting for, ain't it? What people pay paper for, game it. They life of a dawn, lights keep blowing. Coming in the club with that fresh shit on, with something crazy on my arm. Uh-uh-uh. And here's another hit, baby Bonds. We out of here, baby. We I like that. Here, baby. Fresh off the plane, Konichiwa, bitch. Turn around another plane, my passport on pivot. I done played the underdog my whole career. I've been a very good sport, haven't I, this year? They say going crazy, and we've seen this before. But I'm doing pretty good as far as geniuses go. Nigga, please, how you gonna say I ain't no low head? Cause my Dior got me mow my dough head. I'm insulted. You should go ahead and bow so hard till your knees hit your forehead. Wow. And the flow just hit cold red top five MCs. You ain't gotta remind me, please. but my head's so big you can't sit behind me. <laughs> Life of the dawn, lights keep blowing. Coming in the club with that fresh shit on. And me, I'm Mr. Pleasy, baby. Yeah, I'm so bright, not shady. My tea and my ice so white like shady. <laughs> ice and my tea so refrigerated. <laughs> on my waist, turn beef to baddies. And I ate it, cause I'm so at it. And I go front and I don't go backwards. And I don't practice and I don't lack shit. We outta here, baby. We outta here, baby. We outta here, baby. That was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. That's a thing. I actually meant to say this in the last um the last one, because I already knew can't tell me nothing. Mm -hmm. But when you don't read his lyrics, you're you're like doing him a disservice. <laughs> he's <laughs> so funny. He is. He's so funny yeah. and he's so clever. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we'll move on to the next song. Uh, this next one's featuring Most Def, who you haven't heard of before, mm -hmm. uh, legendary rapper. Um, and this next song is called Drunken Hot Girls. We go through too much bullshit just to mess with these drunken hot girls. <laughs> Oh, the 
mind to lower your eyes up at the music plays its sweet delight. It's out of sight, I'm feeling right, your dress is tight. <laughs> <laughs> you only live once to whatever you Drunken Hot Girls. <laughs> I really could have done without that song. Yeah. I'm sorry. To be honest, I actually forgot that, that song existed because I usually hide it. It sure. was, uh, there were some funny lines in there. I also yeah. actually thought it was cool. Um, I asked you what it was. Um, I think it's in the chorus. There's like a girl. You can hear a girl, but you can't actually make out what yeah. she was saying. It was kind of nonsense. And I thought, okay, that's supposed to be like a drunk girl. And that actually sounded pretty cool. Other than that, I'm sorry, that was not a good song. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it's kind of widely regarded as like um, kind of the skippable one good. on the album. Because I don't want anyone to hate me for saying that. Hey. Listen, I've loved the rest of the album so far. If that's, if hey, you that's gotta an keep exception, you gotta keep I'm just it real. being honest, yeah. I did not like that song. That's okay. We'll move on yeah. to the next song. Let's just um, forget that ex existed. I don't know. Maybe you've heard this one? Um, Flashing Lights? I'm we'll, sure. we'll find I'll out. let you know, but I don't. I feel like I okay. don't recognize the title. All right. Well, track nine is flashing lights. That's good. don't believe in shooting stars but she believe in shoes and cars <laughs> you more like love to start shit i'm more of the trips to florida order the orders views of the water straight from a page of your favorite author feeling like katrina with no fema like martin with no gina like a flight with no visa first class with the seat back i still see you in my past you on the other side of the glass of my memories museum i'm just saying hey mona lisa come home you know you can't roam As without I caesar recall, i know you love to show off but you never thought that i would take it this far what do you know Wow. Flashing lights. Yeah. Um, I feel like I like I really liked it, and I especially like the instrumental. I don't know if that last song just kind of took me out of um, the zone, uh -huh. and I feel like I didn't appreciate that to the extent that I should have. Mm. Um, That's okay. I really love the instrumental, but I feel like I've been more blown away by other songs. Maybe I've just been really enjoying the uplifting sure. stuff, and obviously that wasn't really the same vibe. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. You can get it in the comment section, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this like, no, no, that's is okay. This a super <laughs> popular one. Yeah, that was a single. Oh. We're gonna move on to the next track. This one, you know, everything I am. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this one. Yes. Yeah, I and really this love is this, one. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorites as well. I'm excited to hear this with headphones and the lyrics. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so next track is track 10, Everything I Am. Hey. Here we go again. People talking shit, but when the shit hit the fan, everything I'm not made me everything I am. I never be picture perfect Beyonce. Be light as Al, be your black ass Chance. You see how I creeped up? You see how I played a big role in Chicago like Queen Latifah? I never rock a mink coat in a wintertime like Killer Cam. I rock some mink boots in the summertime like Will I Am. <laughs> Let me know if you feel it, man. Cause everything I'm not made me everything I am. And I'm back to tear it up. Hey to start your engines, I hear them gearing up. People talk so much shit about me at barbershops. They 
didn't get to get they hair cut. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Baggy clothes, we box the Addy those. Can I add <laughs> that he do spaz out at his show? So say goodbye to the NAACP award. Goodbye to the NDRE award. They'd rather give me the n- nigga please award. <laughs> but I just take the I got a lot of cheese award. <laughs> <laughs> I know people wouldn't usually rap this, but I got the facts to back this. Just last year, Chicago had over 600 caskets. Man, killing some whack shit. Oh, I forgot, except for when niggas is rapping. Do you know what it feel like when people is passing? So I can't afford to pay. Put slip on my door, cause I can't afford to stay. My 15 seconds up, but I got more to say. That's enough, Mr. West, please, no more today. Go again. Everybody saying what's not for him, but everything I'm not maybe everything I am. I just really love that. I think the beat is just beautiful. I think that's you love song. pianos in general. Anyway. Yeah, I do yeah. love the piano, but I just wow, I just love that song. I think it's such a nice song, mm-hmm. and to hear him sing about basically like just. He is the way he is, and he's successful because of it. Mm -hmm. Even if people aren't happy with who he is, he owes his success to it. I just think this is this album has so many beautiful messages. I think it's so. It that's just such a nice song. Yeah, as I said before, that's probably probably tied for my favorite with uh, this album. Yeah, Mm -hmm. it's pretty up there actually for his entire discography. Yeah, I mean a lot of these songs for me personally. Song, I love that song. Yeah, yeah. That features scratches from the legendary DJ Premier. Mm. So he's part of the duo called Gangstar from the 90s. And he's mm-hmm. produced for like Nas, which you'll hear his production when we eventually cover it. We keep saying we'll cover it and we just <laughs> never do. I think for me, it's just like, I, I would hear this song in so many different settings. Like I remember hearing it at brunch one time. Okay. We were like Clementine and like... I remember when we were in New York and uh, Emily Andor, this was playing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember when I was, like, younger, when this first came out, I was, like, shopping for shoes or whatever, like, this would be playing. So, like, yeah, I just, I don't know. It's it just... It's a really beautiful song. Yeah. I really like the messages that, other than drunken hog girls. <laughs> I, I think just the message he's given with this album, I yeah. think it's absolutely beautiful. And I think, I just think the whole sound of that just... I could listen to that over and over again. I think it's a great song. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we'll move forward. Uh, the next song, track 11, is The Glory. I can't stand it, no. Yeah. Yeah, I can't stand it. Yeah. Dog, are you fucking kidding? My hat, my shoes, my coat, Louis Vuitton sticks. With Donald Teller Versace, that's Louis Vuitton bitch. Please don't star me. I'm like Nars Barkley. Me, Charles Barkley. I'm Pop the Barkers. I'm Hood the Parkers. But y'all was in limbo. I raised the bar up here. It's easy. The hood love to listen to Jeezy and Wheezy. And oh yeah, Yeezy. I did it for the glory. What I'm supposed to do now, man, a game all messed up. How I'm supposed to stand out when everybody get dressed up? Yeah, that tuxedo might have been a little guido, but with my ego, I can stand there in a speedo and be looked at like a fucking hero. The tank gon' empty, whipping my mama bobo. I spent that gas money on clothes with logos. The fur is earned, man, shit that you don't floss. The yard so hard, man, I'm Hugo's boss. Why I gotta ask what that two do cost when you meet me in person? What do you feel like? I know, I know, I look better in real life. I hear people compare themselves to big a lot. I guess after I live, I wanna be compared to big. Anyone, big pun, big L, or notorious. Sit in, get money and stunt and stay glorious. Yeah, I'ma stop killing these niggas soon as the chorus hit. Uh. These haters be killing themselves. They wanna come and get the glory. What was the glory? That was really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I really liked that sample. Um, and I liked how he was singing along with it at the start. So that yeah. was cute. I feel like that one's the closest to uh, production wise, kind of closest to his previous work, mm-hmm. especially like the college dropout. You're familiar with like Through the Wire, yeah. right? Yeah. So if you think about like the sample there, he was kind of known. Um, like the pitched up. Yeah, like the yeah. chipmunk sound, as yeah, they call yeah, it, the yeah. chipmunk production style. So that's kind of like the closest thing I think off the album that was kind of like a throwback to his mm-hmm. old production style. We'll move on. There's two songs left. Oh. 
Yeah, this next one is called Homecoming featuring Chris Martin, <laughs> lead singer of uh, Radiohead. <laughs> I met this girl when I was three years old, and what I love most, she had so much soul. She said, excuse me, little homie, I know you don't know me, but my name is Wendy and I like to blow trees, and from that oh. point, I never blow her off. In the nighttime, my face lit up, so I stand and I told her, and my heart is where she always be. She never mess with entertainers, because they always leave. She's funny, you think about me now. Then you wouldn't have never hit the airport to follow your dreams. Oh. Sometimes I still talk to her, but when I talk to her, it always seems like she's talking about me. So every interview I'm representing you, making you proud. Reach for the stars, so if you fall, you land on a cloud. Jump in the crowd, talk your lighters, wave them around. If you don't know I'm by now, home. talk about <laughs> Shot Town. Maybe do you remember when fireworks of Lake Michigan? a really cool song it's a really cool yeah. concept mm -hmm. yeah i didn't get it from homecoming because i saw homecoming and i thought okay ties in with the whole school theme graduation homecoming right oh i didn't even think about that <laughs> <laughs> that's why i thought that yeah the but now i get it it's like a play on the mm -hmm. word because he's talking about his hometown and i got that as soon as he said like about meeting her at three years old and then yeah. he said her name was Wendy and whatever. Yeah, like the Windy, Windy, the Windy City, City yeah. Chicago. Mm -hmm. So from there, I got the whole nice. idea. And then the things he was saying, it was it was so cool because you could apply it to a woman. Right, double entendre. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was so good, a really cool concept. Really so that was actually uh, an homage to the rapper Common. Mm -hmm. So Common, he's uh, from Chicago as well. And actually Kanye produced an entire album for him. Oh. Um, like the song "Everything I Am," you know, at the, at the beginning where he said, "Come and pass on this beat," and made, and I took it and made it into a jam, something, something <laughs> to that effect. Yeah, that beat was actually for Common, but he he turned it down or whatever. So Common in the '90s, he had a song called "I Used to Love Her," oh. and then he was rapping about a girl, but then at the end he reveals that it was actually a metaphor for hip hop in general, oh. hip hop music. Yeah. So he's from Chicago. This was kind of like an homage to that. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to uh, we're coming to a close here. Track thirteen, it's called Big Brother. My big brother was Big's brother Used to be Dame and Big's brother Who was J-A-Y and yay so shy That he won't even step to his idol to say hi But he got me out my mama crib Then he helped me get my mama a crib Big oh, wow. brother was Big's brother Used to be Dame and Big's brother Big brother got a show up in Madison Square And I'm like yeah, yeah, we gonna be there but not only did I not get a chance to spit it, Colleen told me I could buy two tickets. I guess Big Brother was thinking a little different and kept Little Brother at bay at a distance. Big Brother saw me at the bottom of the totem. Now I'm on the top and everybody on the scrotum. My Big Brother was Big Brother. Used to be Dame and Big's brother side of the peephole. Then I dropped Jesus Walks, now I'm on a steep pole. And we know New Jack City gotta keep my brother But to be number one, I'ma beat my brother The Grammys, I said, I inspired me But my big brother who always tried to be When I kicked the flow, it was like pick and roll Cause even if he gave me the rock, it's give me go OJ, I did a song with Coldplay Next thing I know, he got a song with Coldplay Back in my mind, I'm like Damn, no way, translate Espanol, no way, Jose. <laughs> big brother was Big's brother. So here's a few words from your kid, brother. If you admire somebody, you should go ahead and tell them. People never get the flowers why they can still smell them. My big brother was Big's brother. Used to be Dame and Big's brother. Who was hip hop brother? Who was no ID friend? No ID my mentor, and that's where the story ends. I was touching. Big brother. Actually. Yeah. It was sad. So you know who he was talking about? Jay-Z. Yeah. Yeah. First it just seemed like a tribute to him. Then it seemed like he was bitching about him. Mm -hmm. And then it was like an apology. Mm -hmm. I just thought that was so nice. That was yeah. so touching. Yeah. 
I didn't know all of that, obviously. I knew right. about Jay Z, but I didn't know all of those things. Yeah. And I just, yeah, I thought that was that was really touching. Yeah. That's. I think that's where most people kind of heard of Kanye first was uh, through Jay Z, mm -hmm. because he was a rapper, or he was sorry, he was a producer at first, just strictly a producer making beats, and um, he contributed beats to the legendary album called The Blueprint mm -hmm. uh, that Jay Z put out, and then. He was talking about, Kanye was talking about, yeah, I'm going to be a rapper now. I'm going to be the best rapper in the world. And people were like, what? Mm -hmm. Like, who is this guy? <laughs> right? And then look at where he's at. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, as you said, like, it started off like a like a tribute. Then he tells a story about how... Um, uh, how he didn't really see him the same way. Yep. Didn't take him seriously at first. Yeah. Didn't look at him as an equal. The thing about buying two tickets. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah. Harsh. Like kind of competing with him and then kind of like, well, yeah, I got... I got the song with Coldplay, and next thing you know, yeah. he's got a song with Coldplay, and I'm like, damn. Then he, then he talks shit to someone else, and they got back around to Jay Z and mm -hmm. stuff. But then he paid, he apologized, paid tribute to him. Yeah. So, so are they friends again or no? Oh yeah, they they've kind of had like an off, on on and off kind of relationship. Mm -hmm. um, but I think now they're on, mm -hmm. making it sound like they're a couple. <laughs> but like, yeah, he made an appearance on Donda, mm -hmm. like his latest album. Well, yeah, kind of his latest album, mm -hmm. official album. And then people were like, "Oh yeah, okay. I guess they're like they're on good terms." But cool. Yeah, they ended that was up touching. Yeah. Really liked it. Uh, that's graduation. How did you? I mean, you kind of commented on it kind of throughout the album already, but uh, how would you feel about I that? I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, I really loved it. I thought it was a really nice vibe. Um, I loved his other albums we listened to. Yeah. But they're very different vibes. Right. I feel like this I could listen to more often. Like the songs made you feel good. Mm hmm. They were very uplifting. Yeah. Very, like, the messages that he was given. Yeah. And it's not, like, corny either. No, it's not. Yeah. And he really, like, he's, this is coming from Kanye West. Mm -hmm. There's also, It doesn't like, make you feel like, yeah, well, of course you would say that. Yeah. It actually makes you feel like, wow, you had a dream and you achieved it because mm. you believed in yourself. Yeah. And there's a healthy dose of, like of self-awareness yeah because he he does point out all his flaws i loved it i thought i thought the songs were very positive yeah uplifting made you feel good made you feel like you could do whatever you want right and i just think wow good for him he believed in himself and he really became the biggest rapper on the planet yeah good for him yeah great for him yeah i don't know how much more i can add to that um like i said it's my favorite kanye album hmm. uh just seemed like a soundtrack for me mm -hmm. uh, at that time. As an adult, kind of started my career and like have some money now. Um, kind of developed my own style, my own taste and stuff. And like I said, Pharrell and Kanye were at the forefront of that. Mm -hmm. So from a superficial kind of level, on a surface level, he was influential in that. But as I said, like the, or as we covered already, like the positive messaging as a young adult, it's like kind yeah. of the stuff you want to hear. Yeah. And um, I think that would be so good to hear as a young yeah. adult. And I, I, like there are songs that I know from this, but I didn't know the messages in them. Right. Because I've never had, like I've never looked at the lyrics. I just hear the song. Yeah. I feel like the lyrics were so important. Mm -hmm. I just thought that was fantastic. I, it, it's just a really inspiring album yeah out of the songs that you maybe didn't hear before were there mm -hmm. any standouts too i feel like i wonder yeah yeah i loved that i thought the message behind that was so good mm -hmm. i really liked homecoming i love that concept yeah. yeah i would say i wonder but with including the songs i already knew everything i am i think yeah. it's just an absolutely beautiful song i think yeah my top three would probably be i wonder um everything i am and can tell me nothing yeah. can tell me nothing yeah. i just feel invincible bro yeah. like <laughs> this whole album makes you feel invincible yeah it's such a positive message i i wish there were more albums like that yeah i th thought that was absolutely fantastic and just really positive uplifting i just keep saying uplifting yeah. but it, it really is it makes you feel like you can do anything actually on that note like if you guys have any like uh Albums that make you feel good or something to this kind of like same sentiments, I guess. Mm -hmm. Let us let us know. Yeah. Do you have anything else to add? Anything you want to say to the people out there? No, I'm just really happy with this album. Yeah. I mean, it was great. We're always going to listen to it because we, we want to listen to a lot yeah. of Kanye West. We just need to get to it. But I really loved I loved this album. Yeah, I'm happy we actually finally got, in, got around to it because I... I just love playing this out loud. Yeah, and I, I, I kind of was just waiting until you heard it first. I'm so glad to 
hear it on headphones yeah. and with the lyrics. I thought it was just all around like 10 out of 10. Other than Drunken Hot Girls, I'm sorry, I could really do without <laughs> that song. I thought other than that, it was just absolutely, it was pretty flawless. I loved it. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, as always, thank you for watching if you thank made it this so far. Much. Um, yeah, please yeah. like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Uh, Leave we, a comment. Yeah. We have a long list of... Uh, it's a long, long list. Yeah, we were just kind of like planning it <laughs> out last night. And wow, there's there's really a lot. So please bear with us. Um, but also do leave your recommendations. We do have a few in store that are not wrapped. So um, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, uh, I guess we'll see you in the next video. Yeah, thank and you. And thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.